Hi guys, it's Allie. I'm here for another yoga flow, about 30 minutes vinyasa, beginner friendly with some progressions if you want to advance it. So just come down to a comfortable seated position. We're gonna do a little centering. I like my eyes closed. You just kind of stop and bring everything down and take a moment. Feel that transition and just stop and relax. First, noticing the breath. Feel the inhale, lift the chest. Feel the exhale come back to you. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Keep breathing and just carry that breath with you throughout the whole class. Two more deep breaths here. Inhale, feel it expand. Exhale, feel it return. Last one. One more breath. Deep inhale. Let it out. Deep exhale. Great. Now we're just going to start with some shoulder rolls. Hands anywhere that's comfortable and get really deep with these get into it lift the arms get the neck and the upper back involved and then we're gonna roll forward if you've ever done the butterfly stroke it's really similar just opening everything up one more take it back keep that breath going two more take it forward now we're gonna breathe with our arms so inhale we come up Exhale, come on down. Check in with that posture, shoulders down and back, deep inhale. This time we're gonna bend our elbows as we exhale, take it to a W. Come on back, open the chin, open the throat. Inhale up, exhale, arms come down, chin lifts, throat opens. Flow with your breath with this, one more. Inhale up, deep exhale. Now we're gonna add a twist. So we're gonna inhale up, twist to this side, one arm forward, one arm back, bend the elbows, just nice and light here. Inhale back to center, exhale, twist to the side. One more set, inhale to center, exhale back. Last one, inhale center, exhale, let it out. Nice, just release the arms and we're gonna come into some neck rolls. So here we're just gonna do half circles. My hips are grounded down, my shoulders are down and back. And I just do a nice light swing opening up. Chin lifts all the way up. Maybe you add a little something very gently. Breathe, let it out. Exhale, come on down, chin to chest. Maybe you add a little bit here too. Perfect, guys. So from here, we're gonna do seated cat and cow. It's a little different than the tabletop position. Hands are gonna be palms down on the knees. We inhale, roll forward. Exhale, take it back, knees lift. I'm gonna flip, you stay where you are. So you inhale, check in that posture. Come on, roll forward. Exhale, take it back. Support those hands, lean it back, roll that back. Inhale up. Exhale, down and back, hold on to those knees, really stretch into that back. One more deep inhale up, deep exhale, take it back. All right, now what we're gonna do is hands go back, and we're gonna take the knees and windshield wiper. So my knees, my legs rather, are in 90 degree angles. Here we go. And we're just gonna go back and forth. Nice and light, windshield wipering. These are really gentle. We're just gonna get into them. Perfect. Now what we're gonna do is one leg to brace the other we're going to go into a figure four so 
bend that knee, toes are up, and hands are still back. We're supporting ourselves, but not dumping all our weight in. So shoulders are strong. And if you want to go a little further, you can take that figure four and rotate it just like those windshield wipers. Back and forth, back and forth. That should feel really good, opening up the hips. Legs go forward, lean back, and press and release the toes. We're gonna do some ankle circles one way, then the other. Back to bent knees, and now figure four the other way. So, 40, rather 90 degree angle. I swear I took math. And we're gonna rotate back and forth. Nice little hip swings. Each side might feel different. That's okay. Just rotate it. Perfect. Big here, stretch, inhale, let it out, exhale. We're gonna come to a tabletop position. So, my hands are right underneath my shoulders, my knees are right underneath my hips. Equal pressure in the hands, not just in the wrists. And now we do real cat and cow. So we inhale, lift, drop the belly button, tailbone goes up, exhale, roll into it. Inhale. Lift up, exhale, roll through, and just add this. Go at your own pace with your own breath. Link movement to breath. That's really all vinyasa is. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Now one hand forward, opposite leg goes back. Don't dump into that shoulder, make that standing arm nice and strong. My hand reaches forward as my leg reaches back and I'm thinking length in that spine. Hold and breathe. One more deep inhale. Exhale, let it go down. Come on back, hero position. Interlace the fingers and just roll out the wrist. Figure eights each side. Give those wrists a little break. Come on back to that tabletop position. Fingertips are gripping the floor. Cat cow, one more time. And then opposite arm to opposite leg. Think length, move your arm and your foot away from each other like they're being pulled. Strong, strong, strong. Exhale, come down. Here we're gonna do hip circles. So one direction, then the other. Sit back, new wrist exercise. You're gonna take your hand Make it into a little triangle. Just take one hand, lift up and down. Lift up and down. Then we stretch it this way and switch hands. Triangle motion, come on up. Flip the hand over, press the fingers back. Shake out the wrists. We're gonna come back to tabletop position and build onto a side angle. So my right hand is solid, my right knee is solid. My left leg goes back, it's in line with my foot. So there's a line in between. I'm not side to side, I'm in one line. And then I roll my left hand open, lifting up. Again, watch that dumping, like you're being lifted from your left hand. Breathe in, breathe out. One more. And then we just move the hand over so we're at a side angle. Like my left hand all the way down my body is a line, side angle. Feel that stretch into the chest, into the ribs. One more breath. Come on down. Tabletop position. This time we're gonna go forward and back. You might just want little movements, that's what feels good in your body, or you can go a little further. Make them as small or as big as you want. You stay right where you are. I'm gonna flip for the angle. Now we're gonna go on the other side. So one hand to brace, one knee down, one leg, straight line. Take the hand up, breathe in and stretch like I'm being pulled up. My gaze is upward. So I have a solid foundation and I'm lifting up. One more breath. And 
then side angle. Here you go. Breathe through. Really get into those intercostal muscles. One more breath. Hand comes up, stretch, take it down. Now, we're gonna come down to hero's pose where I'm just sitting down. This might be intense, so if that's intense for you, just go to cross-legged, whatever is more comfortable, and we're gonna add in more of those wrists. So figure eight, and then switch directions. You'll have to think about it. You're not used to moving that way. Triangle with wrist, one, and the other, and then push on the backs of the fingers. Shake the wrists out. We're gonna build on to that. So we're back to tabletop, just like the beginning. Right hand solid, right knee solid, left leg comes back. Everything on the floor is in a line. My hand comes up. If I would like to progress, my bent knee can come out straight or down. So you can hold it here. This is a little harder. This is a little easier. We're gonna add leg lifts though. So here we're gonna take it up and back. Again, if you wanna progress, that foot doesn't come down. And if you're totally with the legs up, you can still do leg lifts. So any way you choose, hold the top leg here, gaze is up, one more breath, and release down, forward and back. As little or as big as you want. Really get into this stretch. Stay where you are. I'm going to flip as we do the other side. So hand is strong, knee, leg goes out, my arm goes up. If I want to progress, my other leg's up, and we're going to add leg lifts here. <sighs> nice and strong and stable. Breathe, and maybe here you hold. Deep inhale, deep exhale, and bring everything back down to child's pose. I like my knees out a little wider for child's pose, but whatever feels good on your hips, take it down. Take three breaths here. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Keep staying in child's pose. One more breath here. And I'm gonna transition to down dog. So I'm gonna come up, bottom of my toes turn under, hips rise, I'm in down dog. Pedal it out here. Bend the knees as much as you need to. The backs of the legs aren't really warmed up. <sighs> Maybe find some stillness. Push through those hands. Deep breath. <sighs> Feet are gonna gently walk up to my hands and we're gonna forward fold, but my knees are bent. If you feel warm and you wanna go further, feel free and just let it hang. My upper body is just hanging and that's gonna produce a stretch right in the back of my legs. Again, knees can be bent to any degree. It's really the upper body down that we're looking for. Here, we're gonna inhale halfway, straight back. Exhale, come on down. Inhale halfway. Exhale. On the next one, we're gonna come all the way up. Deep inhale, slowly rise. Anytime we're transitioning from up to down, we go nice and slow. Arms meet up top. <sighs> Exhale, come down, hands to chest. And maybe you close your eyes here. Just take a moment. <sighs> Just keep breathing here. Eyes closed. A few more deep breaths. <sighs> Let yourself feel the body and what's going on in it. Little check in. One more breath. Eyes softly open. Deep inhale, arms go up. Deep exhale, come on down. They go up. They go down. This time they're going to come up on the inhale. Exhale, we're going to sit back into chair position. So my Arm biceps are right overneath my ears. 
I'm bending down, my hips tend to go back. I wanna curl them in, pelvic tilt in and hold right there. Make sure the shoulders are down and relaxed, arms are forward. If this is intense for you, arms can come down, but keep that depth in there. Two more breaths in chair pose. And from here, we're gonna take our right leg and go back, find your lunge, any depth you want. So we can go lower if we like. We're still leaning forward and on the inhale, lift the upper body. So we're in crescent lunge. My shoulders are down, even though my arms are lifting, breathe through. And then we're gonna rotate to warrior two. So my body is directly over my hips. I'm not leaning forward. My arms are out, staring down the middle finger. And make sure your feet, my front heel is in line with the middle of my back foot. Weight going towards the pinky toe. One more breath here. We're gonna cartwheel down into a plank position. So my back hand is gonna come rotate forward. I'm down in a plank and I hold here. If you're familiar with Chaturanga, now's the time to do it. If not, drop the knees, elbows stay in, and you go down. Inhale, little baby cobra, nice and gentle on the back. Exhale, come on down. Inhale, little baby cobra, come on down. One more, lift on that inhale. Exhale, my toes go back, body comes down, push up through, down dog. Hold here for a couple of breaths. You can walk out the dog, move your head yes or no, side to side, anything that feels good. From here, I'm gonna lift my heels and just baby step into a forward fold. Hang out here and release and relax. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, slowly come up, rise to standing, thumbs to chest and breathe. Keep breathing, maybe the eyes close again, nice and soft. Eyes can open, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, arms come up. Step back into that chair pose. So check in with those hips, rotate them forward, adjust anything, get maybe a little deeper in it, hold. I'm gonna back up so you can see me, keep going. On the exhale, the other leg goes back to find that lunge. Any depth, just move that lower back left. And then we come up sink into our crescent lunge here. Breathe through. One arm forward, one arm goes back. We find our warrior two again. Stare down that middle finger until it gets blurry. Two more breaths. Hold it. You are strong. You are a warrior. Rotate that back hand. Cartwheel it. Come on down. Find that plank position. Lower chaturanga, which looks like this, or knees go down and I come down like this. This time I'm gonna do, you can stick with the baby cobra. I'm gonna come a little closer. Nope, I'm gonna come over here. So stick with that baby cobra, which is just little up and down, or you can do hands forward and come all the way up. This is intense on the low back, so if that doesn't feel good, stick with the baby. If this is okay on you and you wanna go deeper, you can go to up dog. So my hands are underneath my shoulders, I rotate up, and I actually, the bottom of my feet are the only thing that's touching. So wherever you are, come on down. We're gonna link our breath and our movement, vinyasa. So inhale, lift. Exhale, folds. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. One more. Make it the deepest. So inhale. Really get that stretch. Exhale, fold. Toes go under. Push up. 
and you're in down dog position. Pedal it out or find stillness, whatever works in your body. One more deep breath. Feet are gonna walk towards hands. We're in a forward fold and we're gonna add a rag doll. So palms go to elbows. Maybe feet go a little wider. And I like to add a swing when I'm down here. Knees can be bent to any degree that feels good. And just hang out and release that lower back. Feel the stretch in the back of the legs. Hands are gonna drop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Here, we're gonna stay. Our body is in an L. Hands go to the hips, and we're going to work on strengthening the lower back. So inhale up, nice and slow, squeeze the glutes to get up, exhale, come on down, halfway. Add a little pulse if you want here, you're going to feel this in your low back. Knees can be bent if it's intense on the back of the legs, and we're going to stay here, strengthen, inhale, all the way lift, nice and slow. Exhale, forward fold. Last one, add a few pulses if you like. If not, just hold. Inhale, all the way left. Inhale, the arms. Exhale. Inhale, the arms. Exhale. And now we're gonna go back to that figure four, but this time we're gonna do it standing. So I like my hands right in front, but wherever you feel steady, right leg first, come to that figure four, and you're gonna go seated position. So this is balance. So pick one spot, my eyes go there, and that gives me balance. I build from the ground up. Shaking is okay, it means you're working. One more breath here. So inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, release. Wide stance. Hands just go back and forth. This can be nice and loose. Just let everything go. Find that base again, and we're just gonna go figure four Ooh, on the other side. Other side might be different. Sink in, breathe through, find that one spot. If you're focusing too hard, just smile and breathe. One more breath, inhale the arms up, exhale them down. On the exhale, come on the way to the ground, to your back. And we're gonna lie down one knee into the chest and just rock it back and forth, side to side. Keep going. I'm gonna just try to do this in frame. One more breath. both knees in and we're gonna do hip circles one direction then the other other leg goes long other knee in rock it side to side couple more breaths here really feel that hip open up from here legs go up and we're gonna go straight up and down Really point and flex, get into the calves and shins. Here we do ankle rolls, one direction, then the other. And from here, we're gonna transition to happy baby. So, knees come down like they're going into the armpits. Hands might not reach, maybe just grab the calves. If hands do reach, grab the back of the feet and pull down, this is an active. You're actually in a squat position. You're just upside down. So this should feel really good. Find that release here. Let the body start to slow down. If you want, you can rock side to side, straighten one leg the other, or just hang out, whatever feels good. It's your body, your practice. One more breath here and then just release into Shavasana, which is just any comfortable position, usually lying down. I like my knees up, my feet a little wider. 
but anything that feels good to you. Eyes closed. And just start to check in with your body. See how you feel. Let your body be nice and soft. The eyes are closed. Let the breath go. Don't force it, but see if you can just tune into it. Feel what the inhale does to your body. Have that little pause. Feel what the exhale does. Feel the ribs expand and that air move through the lungs. And then it just returns back to you. See if you can smooth that out. And now from your breath, See if you can switch to check in with your heart rate. Do you actually feel it beating? Maybe you can try to slow it down. Well done. Just let it ease down. Use your breath and your relaxation to calm yourself. Sink right down into that floor. Let every drop of tension just float away. Let everything be released and relaxed. You did 30 minutes of activity just to get to this point. Enjoy it. Breathe in what you need. Let go of what you don't. I hope you received exactly what you needed from this class. Namaste.